Hey guys, what is up? Dave coming back to you with a brand new video on my channel here, a tutorial about randomizing Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories for the PlayStation 1. So it's taken me about nine attempts to record this video because the tool that I have is very glitchy and just randomly crashes. Um, I'm working on fixing it. I it, When I started with it, it didn't work at all. It works now. I'm pretty proud of myself on that because I don't know C Sharp A, uh, XAML at all. But uh, it's it's working now better than it was. Um, I might convert this over to a WinForm application so it's easier to work with. But no promises. So with that, I'm going to explain to you how it works. I already created a modified game here off of recording. I'm going to show you guys at the end of this how to convert this to an ISO and then how to compress it. And then I'll show you guys how to play it. So with that... You know, there's the drop logs that you'll get. You'll know exactly how much... Oh, God. Uh, it's opening a notepad. That's not a good idea. There we go. So this is like uh, drop rates for rare, really rare cards with certain people, basically. So they're like... Uh, they're basically a log of what the randomizer changed. So first of all, as you can see, first off, you want to load the SLUS MRG file or... The way I recommend doing it is get the bin and queue file of the game unmodified and just use that. So you basically click this button, select the queue file of the unmodified game, and let it go. From there, you want to randomize the seed and you want to select how you want it randomized. So it's really easy what you want randomized in here. This goes to a maximum of 2048. Um, this can go to a maximum of, I think, 10,000, 10,000. 10,000, 10,000. Minimum cost is zero, but I recommend putting it as one at least and maximum cost of 125. So this will do the Guardian Star randomization. This will change like Pluto to Mars, for example, on a monster that's normally Pluto and Moon. Um, it'll change it to like Mars and Venus or something like that. There are glitched Guardian Stars, which are really cool as well. A glitched Guardian Star will actually... Um, you know, be something like the X and the square buttons on the PlayStation controller. Really pretty cool. Obviously, the attack and defense scrambler, the 000 fusion glitch. Basically, this allows you to fuse monsters that you normally can't make from fusions, uh, especially glitched monsters that are over 5,000 attack. Very annoying um, because the AI knows how to make those. Trust me. Um, <laughs> there's the randomized types, which means you can change a wind to a fire monster, for example. There's card drop rate, which is right down here. Um, there's duelist decks, so every duelist in the game has a different deck. And then there's the equip cards, so like Beast Fangs, for example, only works for beasts in the normal game. Suddenly, let's say it works for dragons or um, aqua monsters or something like that. Randomized fusions, so you never know what fusion is going to make what. So like a metal dragon and a lightning penguin or whatever they're called. Um suddenly don't make Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon, but you fuse La Jin and Jirigamo and you get Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. It's that random. And then Starship Cost. Uh, so basically when you take the code of a card off the bottom left hand of the corner of the card uh, in the you know first edition cards from way back in the day, you can potentially get those cards very cheap. From there, you just click Randomize, then you click Patch, and it makes you the bin and queue. Now from there, most people like to convert that to ISO. Converting it to ISO is very easy. I have been to ISO right here. Just open it up. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm really strange. So this is going to be the modified one right here. Double click that and then my target, I'm actually gonna put it in my speed run scramble. So we're gonna put that there, save it convert it this only takes a couple of seconds which is really nice and then i'm also going to show you guys how to compress it after you compress it it'll be around 200 megabytes which is really nice so now that that's completed close that open up your psx even emulator which is the only emulator so far that i've played this game on that it actually worked go to tool compress and decompress browse Go to where you have the game saved, which is under here, here, 
and then I want this and you hit start and it'll start compressing it this does take a minute um, so I don't recommend doing it unless you have a second or 30 to wait um, but one thing I'll say while that's patching is big thanks to Fireprof Cargo, Ace of Kings, and Control for coming over to my YouTube channel on my Horizon 4 video and giving me proper information that um, apparently people were not giving in the posts that I was finding. And I did find the official Turn 10 developer post um, after a little bit of digging that stated, hey, yes, Horizon Story Cards are allowed in the game if purchased from the auction house. So... If you know how to exploit those things into the game, just start making money, man. Go for it. <laughs> run. Run while you can. But uh, from there, as you can see, actually got it down even lower. 160, 158 megabytes. You can open the game in your emulator. And you can play your randomized Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Let's hope this works, because it didn't work last time. It's not going to work this time. I should have an error. Unable to locate PSX thing. Okay. Let me try this one. Because what it's having trouble finding is the SLUS and the MRG files, I've come to realize. For some odd reason, it can't find them after I convert it to ISO sometimes. Um, I'm not sure why that is. Because... Everything is right here. Like, it's not hard to find. Try the original here. Yeah, I don't know why this happens. It happens all the time. Like, as you can see, it's three different... Oh, it found it that time. I was just impatient. <laughs> God damn it. Oh yeah, that window disappears. I wish it didn't. Are you going to boot at all? Thank you. Finally, my god. I'm just impatient. I'm sorry. <laughs> here I am assuming something didn't work because I always assume the worst. Let me get the mouse out of the way here. And I'll show you guys the game actually working. So, um... I'll put some of my speedrun strats into effect here. We'll get through this story real damn quick here, real quick. Um, we'll start it at least. So this is going to take a second because the audio glitch, this part takes longer. But I did find a plugin that fixes that audio glitch and I'm going to be testing it um, here later. So I'm starting to slowly understand what you need to do in order to get this r game running flawlessly. Also, I found a way to make text boxes go faster. You want to mash square and X at the same time. And then just wait for this BS. Come on. I don't have time to wait for this. By the way, what? Uh, while I'm on the subject of it, does anybody know the program that people use where you can see what buttons they're hitting how quickly on the screen during like a stream or a video recording? I want that tool. I found it while I was at work, but I don't remember who makes it because I found it on GitHub and I can't remember the guy that I found that makes it. So I got to wait until I'm at work tomorrow to find it. So I'm just going to dual Taya. Normally I wouldn't, but here I'll show you guys the game working now. So as you can see, my most powerful monster is Weather Control. Um, Wings of the Wicked is in here. It's a very strange setup there. I messed something up. Did I change types or attributes? So you don't want to change types, you want to change attribute. My bad. So now I have a bunch of stuff that's not supposed to be a spell card. Uh, <laughs> apparently this isn't equipped now. Let's find out how this is going to go. <laughs> this is going to be really interesting. Oh no. Alrighty then. Let's just get these out of here. This is useless, but this is the card I want out first. 
As you can see, it's got the glitch guardian stars, where it's got a star chip for its guardian type. Oh boy. Yep, 3920. Saw that coming. Thanks, Taya. Just destroy my existence. Look at this. The forest has random attack and defense. It still treats it like a spell card, which is nice. We'll do Neptune. Damn it. Well, that's okay. So the thing with Glitch Guardian Stars, though, is you can't tell if it's stronger or weaker against said monster. Um, you just gotta kind of guess and hope and learn. So, like, I don't... I actually haven't figured it out yet, but I think X is stronger than Square. Don't quote me on that, though. There we go. Well, darn. This duel didn't last very long, but this is the this is the good example of the randomizer. I'm going to be changing up how it randomizes attack and defense later on. Oh, thank Jesus, that was stupid. It probably thought that was going to do something, and it didn't. Oh, hey, it does have attack and defense. It just doesn't say it. Cool. I was hoping for a ritual, or a, uh, some form of a, uh, see, as you can see right there, that was an example of a glitch guardian star. But I was hoping for a fusion in this that would work. I'll do another duel so I can, uh, show you guys the fusions working. Damn. Alright, there we go. I'll do one more duel after this so I can hopefully get a fusion that works. Occubeam. Come on. I'll duel the kid. Oh, this is the old guy, that's right. Let's see, what card did I get? Is it worth putting in the deck? Probably. Yeah, I'll get rid of Karibo. Because Karibo is useless now. Since it's a magic card for some reason. Goddamn kids outside of here. There we go. I just want one fusion. Come on. And it treated that as an equip. I need one fusion that works. That's all I want. One fusion. To show you guys what the glitched fusions look like. That's not supposed to be a magic card. These fucking kids in the hallway are always so goddamn loud. It's the most annoying thing ever because... You know, I have a one-year-old. And when he's napping like he is right now, they fucking wake him. They need to shut the hell up. Like, I get kids being kids, but good God. Shut the hell up and have some decency. Teach your children decency. Oh, I forgot you. Give me a working fusion, damn it. Oh, that was uh, not supposed to happen. Huh. Shoot. Well, you guys get one more turn. I'm, go I'm recording this until I get a working fusion. Or until a... Uh, AI screws up. There we go. What?! That's not a glitched fusion, but it works. There's a glitched guardian star. Doesn't know what to do with itself. You go last. After this, I'll also do a couple star chip codes, just to show you guys. Uh-oh. Thank God. Bye. All right, I gotta Google some star chip codes. Go away, frog the jam. That's not what I wanted.
Isn't Taya coming? And yeah, god damn it, I can't go and do starship codes yet. I need to get rid of Joey first and all that. All right, I'll just keep going with this recording. <laughs> this tutorial's taking longer than I wanted it to. Come on. Joey, just lose already. Good thing I know how to speedrun this game for the most part. Right, right, left, right. Isn't it left, left, right, left? Come on. I just want through this crap. Alright, cool. So now I'll be able to go back. I gotta save first. Yeah, I gotta save first or else I lose all my star chips, which is really freaking stupid too. Alright, let me Google star chip codes real quick. Oh, come on. Dumbest thing with the phone that I have, by the way. If, uh... If, uh, you, uh... Try to use your fingerprint reader and you're below 20% battery, it doesn't work. Here we go. So the ones that I want to try... So let's try Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. Because that's normally a 999. Let's see how much it costs. 485. Four eight five seven nine three. So as you can see, it only costs twenty star chips. So that's the nice thing about using um, the star chip editors. It actually makes it a little bit easier to get cards you can normally never get. So like, let's find Blue Eyes Ultimate, for example. Should be at the bottom list here. Come on. Any dragon types? Come on, where is it? So normally if a card cost zero in this game, you can't do it this way. So I've never actually tried this to see if, uh, yeah, so you still can't get blue eyes ultimate. Got it. That sucks. But yeah, so that's basically the randomizer. It's a really cool tool. Um, you can make some really cool ISOs with it. I'm going to be adding features to it, converting it over to a win form, because right now it's XAML, and I don't know XAML for the life of me. I'm just kind of using Google to fix it. But it's a really cool tool, and if you guys want it released, um, once I get it really working well, I'll release it to you guys. But right now it's not in a state that I think I could release it. So I'll talk to you guys later. hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.